Greetings, hi, hello, welcome to another day in Vlogtober. I think it's finally time to do my like summer to winter type switch over thing for my closet. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. I'm sure you can hear my refrigerator in the background as well as my air purifier. This apartment is full of loud, annoying sounds and no light. <laughs> so I'm sorry about the kind of weird lighting and all the sounds that are going on in the background. But I think a lot of this is probably gonna be like time-lapse footage. What I think I'm gonna do to start is honestly just pull out most of the clothes from my closet so I can really look at each item and decide what I might be potentially donating and what's just gonna go away for the winter. And then I'm gonna pull out my tub and we're gonna do some switching over. Might also switch over the sheets today to flannel. It's kind of hard because it's still like yesterday was 80 something degrees I think for the high. So it still is getting pretty warm during the day but it's pretty chilly in the morning when I walk to work and it's honestly cool-ish in the afternoon evening when I'm walking home from work so I'm not really outside in the warm <laughs> so I think it's um, fine and time to do the switch so we're gonna do that also sorry about my hair looking weird and my voice sounding weird I my bangs are driving me nuts and I'm still not feeling super great so that's also why I'm wearing a whole sweatsuit <laughs> Dreams on a warrior, princess in a pattern skirt. Oh yeah. Reaching for unanswered prayers, hovering in the autumn. Oh yeah. Basically, just pulling out dresses and any sort of like cute little summery top. If it's just a normal short sleeve top, I'm gonna leave it in my closet because there's chances are that I'll like wear it over the winter like under a sweatshirt or something like that but like this will almost certainly not be worn over the winter and if I do really want it I'll just grab it out of the bin just add some time and effort to the process but not super hard to do I don't think I wore this dress at all this summer and I might give it one more summer to see if I wear it. I got it when I was in Sevilla, Spain a few years ago. And so that's, I think why I'm holding on to it, but it is kind of short. Is it short? Is that the reason I don't like it? I can't remember. You know what? I'm just going to be a big girl and get rid of it because if I feel too exposed or like, I don't know, there's some reason I don't wear it. Even if I don't know what the reason is, that's not going to change in the future. So I'm gonna set that aside. <laughs> this is another top that I don't think I wore at all this summer. It's just a cute little halter from American Eagle, like Aerie, when Aerie first become, became a brand with American Eagle. And it's super soft. It's like their soft and sexy line. I don't know if they still make it, but again, don't didn't wear it at all this summer. So I think it's time for it to go. I've also, I'm pretty sure had it since high school, <laughs> which is fine. That's like not a reason to get rid of something just because it's old. Um, but I don't wear it anymore. So that's a good reason to get rid of it. This skirt is one of the first garments I ever made. It's just a white, like silky satiny kind of circle skirt. It is a little bit short and because it's white, it is slightly see-through. Um, and I don't know, I just like never really wear it. And I've only really been holding on to it because I made it myself, but I am going to donate it because someone else might actually really like it. I thought about just like salvaging the zipper from it, but I don't think it's worth it to me to put in that work, honestly. I also have this shirt that I sewed myself. Um, it was like a DIY no pattern, kind of Hawaiian style shirt. I don't love it, but I am going to keep it because I might be able to either rework it or reuse the fabric for something because I do really love this print. It's very fun. It's very funny. It's like these cowboy boots. So I am going to keep this and I'm going to keep it accessible in my closet. Oh my gosh, this hanger is trying to come undone. I don't know if I'm making it better or worse. All right. I think there's more in there that I should be pulling out. So I'm gonna 
set the Keith pile to the side. Right now, this is my go into storage for the winter, and this is my donate pile. They say The rest of this is stuff that I either want for the winter or want to keep hanging just so that it doesn't get ruined by being packed away for forever and being perma wrinkly. Here is my bin where I've been keeping all of my winter stuff. These are some sheets on top, obviously. My old laptop. And then I have some sweaters. Not a whole lot though. Just some. There's just a bunch of random stuff in here. <laughs> I'm gonna pull these boots out because I'm going to donate them because I got a replacement pair of winter boots that are barefoot style, so I don't need those anymore. I have, um, do you remember seeing these like on commercials as a kid when these first came out, these like vacuum storage bags? I got some from the lab clean out that we did earlier this week at work and they've never been used. It says one large and one extra large, so I'm hoping I can fit the large one in here. Oh my gosh. Put like all the clothes in it, as well as some sheets and maybe even these curtains. I've been holding onto these curtains since I moved out of my townhouse because I bought them right before we left, like I moved. And Oh, I've just been like holding on to them for when we do have a house that we can hang them in because they are pretty nice like blackout curtains. They're not the cutest, but they were pretty, they weren't super cheap. They weren't super expensive. They weren't super cheap. Anyway, I'm going to try my best. I think the nice thing is they have a flat bottom, which is cool. So I guess I'll try to make it Still a flat bottom. I wonder if putting in the curtains first. I have to wash them first. And like I said, I do have this other really big one that I think we might put some more like bedding and stuff in. I don't know. So that's closed. I gotta go get my vacuum. amazing. Why have I not gotten these earlier? <laughs> Why have I not paid for them myself? Look at this. <laughs> it's so heavy. So dense. Um, I think maybe in the future, 
We'll see if this fits in the bin. If it doesn't, I think I'll probably just like take it all out and just toss it in there because everything's all folded. There's all these weird shapes and lumps and bumps and stuff. And in my head, I was like, well, I don't want them to be super wrinkly. There's no way they're gonna come out of this not super wrinkly. So, um, I think just tossing them in there would be more than sufficient. Okay, so it definitely fits super easily. There's like a huge space in here, which is amazing. Well, I guess I didn't have everything put back into it, but definitely enough space for everything. So maybe once I do change these sheets out, I can go ahead and reopen this and either just chuck the sheets in, there's plenty of room for them to just be chucked in or open this back up and redo that. That was amazing. <laughs> I love that. I honestly cannot wait for it to be cold enough to really wear a fluffy sweater like this. <laughs> I love this sweater. extra hangers. I do have laundry right now that needs to be folded. So I'm sure some of these will be taken up by that, but I saved, took out a lot of pieces of clothing from my closet, but it's not that much like emptier because all of the sweaters are so bulky. So that's just kind of the way she goes, but feels good to have that done. Um, We'll see if I get a wave of energy to switch the sheets to those flannel ones, to one of the sets of flannel ones today. But honestly, that took up quite a bit of energy considering the fact that I'm not feeling well. So I'm not gonna hold myself to that at all today. But let me add what I removed from my closet to my donate pile, which is under my desk and honestly needs to go. Well, I think that was it for today's Vlogtober video. Just quick and simple. Let me know if you have any requests for the rest of Vlogtober on specific themes for vlogs or even sit down videos. Whew. And hopefully this inspired you to do a little bit of switch over going through your closet, figuring out what needs to be donated, etc. in your life. And I'll see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogtober. Bye.